Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is a beautiful day. So we're gonna finish up this uh, thing. We're gonna stain this. But before we're gonna do that, uh, we have to uh, black all this uh, pocket hole in here. Like right here in the back. And I'm gonna show you like, all these pocket holes in here. We're gonna black all those. So yeah, we got options to do that. To do this, uh, we could uh, pocket hole plugs, which uh, that would cost you more. Because uh, 50 pieces of that in just one uh, box. That will cost you like fifteen dollars. So what we're gonna do is with a dowel. So easiest way how to do that is we're gonna cut this one into pieces and then plug them like uh, we're gonna speed it up everything for this. So we're gonna we're gonna use the uh, uh, multi tool. So it's gonna be uh, fast and easy, and it's more. Uh, uh, inexpensive way as well uh, for this a one dowel is just like a dollar and fifty cents so it's not a much so for this we're just gonna spend five dollars for this uh, three and this would be uh, good enough for this uh, 222 bucket holes that we have to plug in so that would be a lot of savings rather than buying those uh, uh, bucket hole plugs that was already being made like all you gotta do is just put a glue in that would be fast and easy but that would cost you a lot so for 222 you have to buy uh, five boxes of that so a box of that is just like $15 each and yeah $15 each that would be a total of uh, $75 that would cost you more and yeah so we're gonna do this way and let's dig it in so what we're gonna do in here is we have to cut these uh three dowels these long dowels that i have we're gonna cut this one into multiple pieces so that we could plug them all together in one chair so we all, all we have to do is like cut it uh, in the short pieces and then plug it on plug it on and then cut it off so so right for now we're just gonna use this uh, small pieces we have that we cut yep you can cut whatever how long but for me it's right, the so convenient way, an easy way how to plug it so just gonna we put hammer, a, uh, we can top it up a with bit a, of glue here a in every hole like I don't have to uh, cut this uh, whatever, whatever cut it uh, angle all we're gonna do is like Plug one side, you don't really need to put a lot of it. As long as it holds, then that would be fine. So right, we already did that. That 24 holes, all we're gonna do is like plug up. So right, as you can see, we already did plug all these uh, bucket holes in here. So I got also a way how to cut this one. You can use the flash cut saw. But since we're gonna do a lot of this thing, so you're gonna use the multi-tool we have here together with this. 
so that it won't leave a scratch or whatever. It could it could leave a scratch in here, but I don't have to worry about it because since this uh, this build is a rustic uh, the a rustic design or rustic uh, type of thing, uh, outdoor patio chair. So I don't have to worry about the scratches, but I have to pass it to uh, to pass it with a with a uh, sanding. Uh, I'm gonna sand all this thing. So we're gonna use this one together with this. We're just gonna flash this one over here and cut it this way so that it won't really, really. But for this, like, you know, I don't really need this one. Not worry about uh, getting a uh, scratch or whatever. Uh, this uh, tool gonna leave here a scratch. Cause uh, first thing is, I'm gonna sand it. It's a soft wood anyway, so it's easy to sand. That's how we're gonna do it. So, right, let's go ahead and cut all this. Uh, Yeah, so what so whatever we cut it off from the first chair that we did, whatever cut off from the house, we're gonna use it into the next one. So you can pass it, you can plug it in. You could also you don't need to worry about this uh, other side is cut off. All you're gonna do is just like face it up this one when you plug it in, that will go all the way through. Right? So how fast it is to do the one now we have all those uh, pocket hole plugs all we're gonna do is sand it now smooth it ready for stain So, yep, all right, we're pretty much uh, done plugging with this, with all this pocket hole in here. And, yeah, as you can see it here, it's all flush, nice, smooth. And we just fill it up with a, with a wood filler on the edge because I don't really want to have a, a little gap or whatever, those scratches in there. At least if we'll fill it up those scratches from the multi-tool that we, uh, use but uh, so far it was all good like as you can see it here like all those uh all those pocket holes were all flush so that's how we're gonna that's how i always do for this uh kind of uh the thing that i have to do like you know instead of using a pocket hole plugs so the most efficient and easy way is to use the dowel and then just use the multi-tool but to uh, make everything uh, fast and easy we're just gonna put all those long dowel into small pieces and then plug it all the hole and then do it like uh, cut it off so yeah so far it was all good and we're just gonna have to do a little sanding over here where I fill it up with a little, like you know, like a wood filler, 
there's just some uh, scratches from the molded tool that we used, but it's gonna be fixed just like right over here. Like you won't see anything that was, uh, you know, it's like a hidden screw. So, yep, yeah, that was so far so good. And yeah, what I did also when I bought the dowel, I'm making sure that the the dowel collar it's a pretty close or you know very close to the to the wood that I use so that when you stain this it doesn't show all those end grain from the from the uh, dowel so that helps a lot or the thing that you you want to do like is so that it won't uh, show up all those uh, uh, end grain when you stain this because yeah, the dowel will uh, absorb the stain and what will happen is like this will become so vi visible and it will uh, create a mark here like a like an oval mark so what I used to do I just gonna I just gonna wipe a little bit of glue just a little bit of glue and then sand it that really helps like I don't know like you know I'm not a I'm not a, a pro for this or I'm not really a woodworker that they're really expert about it but that's what I my experience is I just make an experiment or whatever that I could do because you know anyway it's your it's your stuff right like if you're gonna DIY something it's all your stuff like nobody nobody would stop you from doing it just do whatever you think it's nice and yeah that's what I did just uh, wipe it with a little bit a thin like a thin uh, uh, wipe of glue so that really helps when it dry when you sand it it won't absorb the stain but the color of the wood will stay the same with this wood that you use so yep I don't know really it is but you could always leave a comment if you think that you know like I have to improve or I have to 